So open Mobirize and then go to the top left hand side of the application. Go to where sites are and click on new site. When you click on new site, you provided with this interface, then you want to change the name of the site to whatever the client gives to you or whatever suits you. Then choose the new team called Mobirize Mobilize AMP. Wait for it to load. Once it loads, you will see plus signs. Those plus signs are going to use them to drag and drop blocks onto the MTP. But first, we need to edit our title and then add the page icon. So the page title will be whatever the client asks you to name it. For example, somebody's name or the name of something. Then the page URL, you can just put it as the home page because that's the first page. You can use any description that suits whatever the site is offering to its clients or to people. And then you go and click outside, anyway outside. Next, we want to change the logo. The logo is called the Fave icon. I already have a Fave icon in my app, so I just click on the Fave icon, the default Fave icon that comes with the application, and then edit it. I choose from my list of Fave icons that I've already created before, which I'm going to send to you, and then click on Open, and then it shows up, and then that shows up in the application as it were. You don't need to save it, just click anywhere outside and go back and you see that the changes occur automatically. That's one good thing about mobile right. Then the next thing you need to do is to start to drag and drop your blocks. You click on the plus sign and then start with the menu block. So when you drag the menu block, you go and drag the footer block. So pick any footer you like. I picked the easy one here because I just want this to be sharp and easy and quick. So once you click the footer block, then you can go and add the header. So you add a header, drag and drop any header of your choice and then I'm going to select one image or one video block. Now please note for the video block you're going to require a URL which you have, which you will copy from wherever you have uploaded the video that you want to add to the page. Then next I'm going to add a contact us form and then a subscribe form. That's the simple way to create a website. These are basic elements that the website must have. Next, we now begin to edit. Next, we now begin to edit our page. We start with the menu block, menu, menu block and then edit the title as well as edit the uh, byline. You can see that custom image I put on the side. It's called the logo. So you can use whatever logo that suits you, it will be fine. So you may want to pause the video and then maybe slow it down using VLC player to see the exact thing I did because I deleted some items, menu items from the drop down and then edited the name. So if you want to edit any other further part like the color, you are going to click on the settings logo, settings icon that is related to each block but now let's leave that let's go on to the next block the next block is where we have our header it's a very bold image here we want to put a title that depicts what the website is about and then put a short description about what the website is about so i want to quickly create a site or website about cats something simple something easy something smooth and then I'll add a buy button. Okay, a buy button. I'm going to edit that button in the GP. Next is the video block. I, I, I edited the title as cute cat video. Please note that I said that we are going to require a YouTube, a URL that we have gotten from YouTube where we save that video or anywhere else that we save that video online, preferably YouTube. If you don't have a, if you don't have a video, search for anyone we're going to show you how to do that very soon now let's change that image this is a cat that we're looking at you need to change it so i click the settings click the picture icon and then choose cat and then search for cats so i'll search for cats from the list of 
features available inside Mobilize because Mobilize is directly connected to Pixabay. So when I set your cart, I have different options. I will choose any one that I like. So please note that I have an active internet connection. Now once it's shown up and once it has loaded, the next thing I need to do is to begin to edit. Now you see it's whitish. That means I need to change the color. That is the color of my title to something that that can be visible to anyone. So I'm going to change it here to black. Okay. So in order to do that, I can just highlight, select the color block, and then change it to black. Again, I want to change the button to something that is visible. Yeah, it looks good, but I want to change it to red. I click the edit settings there. Then since there's no red, I'll select and then click more. So I'll select the red there and then just click outside of the space. Then now I can now select red. You see red amongst the option because I've selected it. Now I'll head on to Google in search of cards videos. So I search on Google cards videos YouTube. It will bring some options. Just to pick, the, you just need to pick the right one and then select the URL. Let's just wait for this to come up. So once the video has loaded, you are going to see a share option. Click the share and you see an option to copy. Or you can just copy it directly from the URL tab bar. If you are not sure if what you copied is the right thing, just click the share button and then you see a list of options. From the list of options, click copy link. Once you've copied, head back to where your movie rise app is. Click the settings button and then insert your URL where you have YouTube with your URL. And you will done, click outside and that's it. Finally, we need to edit our subscribe form. I need to change that name to something that is suitable. Do you want to rent a cart? The subscribe button, I'll change it to yes. So once people fill their name, they can click that yes button there. Then my contact us form, I'll just do a little bit of editing to make it look Nigerian a little bit. Again, I'll also change the um, the mail, the email address to make it look like something that is um, customized for cats. And then my location can be anything at all. Now once that thing is done, I'll then begin to edit the social media icon URL. So for Facebook.com, I have www.facebook.com forward slash cart world. Mind you, I must have created, if it's a real website, I must have created a Facebook account, an Instagram account, or a Twitter account for those, for the cart world. Then I will now add the URL, is the URL of the username of that account that I'm going to add, like facebook.com forward slash cart world, twitter.com forward slash cart world, instagram.com forward slash cart world, linkedin.com forward slash cart world as well. Provided somebody else has not taken the link. So I, ha I have three. I have four, but I need only three. I have four social icons, but I need only three. So what I'm going to do is to remove one of the social icons. The way to do that is to click the settings again. Scroll down, you will see social. You're going to see social icons. Reduce the number of social icons to three or the number that you want. Then finally, I'm going to edit the footer menu, just a little bit, and that's all. So, in addition, since there is, there is a button there, I need to put a URL in that button. The URL must be valid, something something.com, that points to another page in my website. Since we don't have another page, this is the only page we are creating now, that's fine for now. Now, let's go on to the next thing. So once that is done, the next thing I need to do is to publish. So on the top right hand side, you are going to see publish. There are two ways to publish. You can publish to mobilize or you can publish your local folder. We are going to do the two. 
let's first of all publish our local folder make sure you know where it's saved in the local folder so just click browse right then choose where you want to save it in the local folder by right clicking and then creating a new folder for it once the new folder has been created and then click on publish so once it's published depending on how fast your network is you will need to go to the folder where you locate where you saved it in and then do some editing to it it's going to open either as a web browser file or as a word file depending on the settings i'll teach you how to edit that later but first let's look at how to publish it the second way the easier way in order to publish it the easier way i need to go to publish i'm inside the mobilize website mobilize um, mobile view that again i'm going to go to publish and then i'm going to click mobilize i will edit the name to suit what i want and i'll say cards word for example and click publish this time it's going to, it's going to publish directly to mobilize and what you want to then do once that publish is to go to the url tab and then click the url click the url highlight it copy it and then send the link to me so once I view it and I will vet, I will vet your design and then I will do your score. That is the second and the easier way to publish it. What you will then notice is that for my own sake, for my own design, the video wasn't loading properly. Probably because it's not my video and it's not from my own YouTube account. So once that is done, go back to the, go back to the app, close it, go to the folder where you have saved that previous file. You know you publish it the first one the first time go back to the folder where you have saved it and then do some minor additions on it so what you want to do then is to compress compress the folder compress the files you see three files compress them and then save them for later i'll tell you when to send them to me the three files you're going to see are assets home and project so you need a zip file compressor which you can download from the from online or from anywhere and then compress the file in zip format please compress it compress the file in zip format and then see if i'll tell you where to send them to me and that will be all now you have a well-designed site your first well-designed sites.